Hello, I'm the weasel, and I got a comment asking whether I use the same in commentary on my foreign videos for YouTube and the like as I do for my videos I post on watermelon and duyen and Chinese sites. This is a fair question, so here's my answer. People make a lot of money saying bad things about China on foreign sites. People are always saying China does this, China does that, China's about to fall apart. They've been saying that last one for years now. It hasn't happened. I don't think it will happen. If anything, the U.S. looks a lot more unstable than China these days. At the same time, foreigners get really popular on Chinese sites by saying China is the best. It is a utopia. Everything is great. It is so much better than anywhere in the world. I'm not doing that either. I find that a little weird and sickening that someone will pander so much. Maybe they really believe this, but I don't think they do. I think they are just saying what they think people want to hear to make money. How can you trust someone like that? For how I see China and think about it, there are several categories of how I react to my experiences here and what I see. There are things in China that I really like about it. This is something I focus on in my videos because I want people to see how amazing the country is, how much has changed and gotten better over the years. There is so much negative stuff on China on foreign sites already, I don't need to add to that. Then, there are things China is working on to make better. Even in the five years I have been here in China, it keeps surpassing itself. Even the leader of Canada, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, once said he wished he could be as effective as China in addressing issues. Now, Justin Trudeau did get in trouble from a lot of people for saying that because no country really likes their leader comparing them to another country and saying, oh, we're not as good. But in many ways, the power of the Chinese government is amazing in that it can really focus on things like that. There are things I have trouble getting used to in China, but I know won't change. They are part of China. I'm a foreigner here. I can't expect China to change to suit me. That's just ridiculous. There are things I just don't understand about China. And that's just because I'm an outsider, and to a point always will be. It's just a matter of cultural education in a way. There is a flip side to this one. And there are ways that I act that Chinese people will think of just as weird or hard to understand. While I do try to fit in, this is again just cultural differences. It can only be changed up to a point. It is really hard to understand the cultural differences of moving to a different country until you experience it. I think back in Canada where we have a lot of immigrants from other countries, this is something that gives Canada strength and helps it grow. We need them to make a better future. But some people always get upset that they don't act like a Canadian, whatever that means. They don't understand the extra difficulties someone has when they move to a new country, possibly one where they don't fully speak the language or comprehend the culture. That kind of thing, like I don't act Chinese enough, is not something I think I've ever heard in China. I think some people might get frustrated, I don't speak the language well, and stuff like that, but most people are very understanding, and I, I think it's the same in Canada. Most people are actually really good about this. It's only some people, just about anywhere, just going to not be great about it. For things I don't like about China, and I don't feel are being worked on enough, this is probably the smallest category, and I think many ways it's probably being worked on in ways I don't see. In this category are probably things like how people let their dogs poop everywhere, and how much people litter. This still isn't everyone, so most of the time it's just not worth going on about. But overall, I really enjoy living in China. I'm married to a Chinese woman, and it is my home. The videos I post here are the same ones I post on foreign sites, mainly because it is my experiences and thoughts in China. Those don't change, and I don't lie. Also, doing the subtitles in both English and Chinese is actually a lot of work. I'm not going to make two versions of that. One of the main reasons I post these videos on Douyin and Watermelon is so that people can see what I am posting on the foreign sites. 
I don't want people taking my videos and making it look like I'm saying things I haven't said. This way people can see my real thoughts and words. And it's kind of like protecting myself. All right, that's the answer. I know a bit long, but that's all there is to it. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Later, Zaijian.